is Tawana and happy to be here. Yay. Um, thinking about what I should talk about and right now what's on my mind is that I have a teenage daughter. In fact, she's about to be 18 soon. Um, on my only child. <laughs> so I've been thinking about what life is going to be like once she is out of the house she's you know graduated high school and she's gone off to college most of my life has been surrounded about things for her um, I've been a mom since I was 18 so what will life be like for me you know we me and my friends we laugh and talk about oh such the freedom what are you gonna do but what does that look like I don't know I'm not really sure um, some days I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do this, or I can go be a flight attendant if I want to, or I can go into construction, although no one really wants me with a hammer in my hand. <laughs> that probably would not be a good idea. But, you know, the possibilities are, you know, endless. Um, I hear all the time, you're so young, you'll, you know, you'll figure it out. But I don't know some days. Some days I'm just like, oh my goodness, I, when I cook, you know, it's, you know, is she going to like this? Is she going to like that? Um, when I go to the store and I buy something, okay, is she going to like this? I think she'll like that. Oh, she loves these, so I'll get that. So everything has been about what does she like? What does she want? How can I um, be a better example for her? What can I do to show her she can do it too so everything has been about motivating her getting her to her next level i know there's been great things for me in the meantime and and all of that but what is it going to be like when i'm no longer i guess her cheerleader 24 7 because she's coming into her own she's going to be you know coming into her own womanhood and then before you know it um, she'll be finished with college and hopefully um, you know she'll meet a great guy get married and have kids but where does that leave me so that's where I'm at right now and I've been praying about it asking God to help me and to reveal things like okay what what do I need to do um, recently I started a foundation and it's called Design to Make an Impact Scholarship, Athletic Scholarship Foundation. Let me try that again. Design to Make an Impact Athletic Scholarship Foundation. And what I do is I crochet. So that's my part of my art, <laughs> artsy part of me, is I crochet. I crochet um, items for babies, for women, for, you know, whoever. Um, and I sell these items and the money that I get for that I use a hundred percent of it to scholarship an athlete for our sports uh, whatever it is for seniors um, I am advertising that for their senior year the money doesn't just go for their sport but it will go for things for their senior year maybe like their senior pictures or um, prom they don't have money to um, pay for prom or something like that so graduation invitations things like that to help them get to the next level my goal and my dream is to one day be able to give them college scholarships as they're going into college whether they're going to play the sport or not so that's one step that I've made <laughs> towards being able to do something outside of being a mom <laughs> so to speak. Um, I always thought I'd have five children, but I have one, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I'll still be able to still be quote unquote mom, um, but in a different um, capacity. So that's, like I said, that's one step that I've done. I'm still working on all the other stuff, don't have all the answers, but that's a great thing about life. That's a great thing about being a parent. You don't have to always have the answers. It's one day at a time, one step at a time. And I'm just going to enjoy the journey because it is a journey. And one day she will be able to look back on this. Other people will be able to look back on this. And hopefully this will encourage them. So 
That's all it is. <laughs> I've always loved the phrase designed to make an impact. And what I tell people is um, the type of impact you make is up to you. We are all designed to make one. You just have to decide which one you're going to be. Um, so that's the reason why I put that in the foundation designed to make an impact athletic scholarship foundation because our athletes they do we can see it in the news media to this day how um, athletes are such a huge part of our society and how what they say and what they do it, it's very impressionable so I want to help do my part in creating or encouraging our athletes, our young athletes, to grow up to be more of a greater impact. Looking at what they're doing, um, their integrity, the, mor the morals. Um, and I also have another saying that I like, just because you can doesn't mean you should. So we live in America and we have so many things that we can do. So just keep that in mind. Um, if there are any athletes watching, just people are watching you. Even when you don't know it, they're watching every move that you make, every decision, every choice. And you're making an impact in someone else's life. So we're all designed to make one. You choose which one you make. <laughs> You've got to have a better ending than this. And that? You didn't like that? Oh, that was wow. great. I can't help it. That's just kind of like, so what? Is my end supposed to be like, yeah? No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Your ending is just so funny. What? I have absolutely no idea what I just said. <laughs> time